I am sweating so hard. So if you're new here, I'm Maddie and I make videos about minimalism and slow living. I put out new videos every Wednesday. Today we're gonna talk about things I only own one of. Speaking of things I only own one of. June, you wanna be the first thing in this video? Okay, Jim, you wanna go lay on the couch? Yeah, so these are the things that I not only get away with owning one of, but I actually enjoy not having multiples of these things anymore. So let's get into it. Number one on the list is a car. Before moving here to Hawaii, we sold a car, we downsized to one car. Actually, we did it a few months before leaving for Hawaii, and it just, we didn't know how much lighter it would make us feel to have one car. We lived in a place where we didn't have parking, like you had to find parking in our neighborhood. It was stressful to manage another car. We didn't realize how much time we spent each night talking about where we'd left the car and where we're gonna park the car, not even going certain places because there's gonna be too much of a hassle to move the cars around, which is ridiculous. Secondly, my husband now works remotely and so we can definitely get away with one car. It saves us a lot of money. We got to throw some money into savings by selling off one of the cars. We also homeschool our kids. We really live a home-centric life, and I feel like that allows us to get away with it more. So that being said though, I love having one car. So next on my list is sheets. Let me explain this first. We have three beds in this house. Each of those beds has one set of sheets. Sorry, that was my phone and the sheets are on them. When those sheets get dirty, I put them in the wash, I dry them, I put them straight back on the bed. I don't have like a linen closet with sheets in it. I don't even, just for this video, I took the sheets off of one of our beds. Sorry, not a good time to have hiccups. And I tried to fold this fitted sheet. I, like, I just can't, do not have time for this. Next on my list is accessories. I used to be someone that had a large, probably about my height, jewelry box and it was filled with accessories. I decided to kind of test out putting all of that in a box and just wearing the things that I want to wear the heck out of on a daily basis. And those things were a gold necklace, this sterling silver plated hammered ring. I don't know why I just like really like looking down at my hand with this ring on. And then my wedding ring, that's it. I love that I don't waste money now on like trendy jewelry, travel, I don't need like a special jewelry organizing thing. You know how jewelry gets all tangled with itself? I love that I can go without that and be happier than when I had all that stuff in the first place. Along that same line, this is all of my makeup. In here I have one makeup brush. I've had this since I was in high school. I thought that I needed all the makeup brushes in the world and different colors of lip gloss, all the things. I used to have four different mascaras and I just don't need duplicates of those items. I really like simplifying my hair. Okay, that'll help my hair not look so weird. Anyways, I like having one of each makeup item and not duplicates. I am just better off without all of that stuff. Okay. Next on my list is kitchen appliances and kitchen gadgets. For instance, I have one knife. It's a really nice chef knife that my mom got me for Christmas last year. I used to have the kitchen knife block set and I realized I can do all the gourmet cooking that I want to do or not so gourmet most of the time, but I do love to cook and I can accomplish all the kinds of cooking that I want with just my chef's knife. And maybe this is very normal to not have duplicates of these items, but I, I used to. I used to have three crock pots. I don't know who would need three crock pots. Anything and everything in the kitchen, I have one of except a uh, cookie sheet. I have two cookie sheets, so there's that. Even like a set of six plates. I don't need a set of six plates we use on a daily basis and then a set of nice plates that we use when company comes over or you know, a set of holiday themed plates. Like I like the just classic white dishware that goes with everything and I feel like it serves me very well on my day to day life. Next on my list is a TV. Did we have a TV in our first apartment? I think we did. We haven't had a TV for a while though and so it's kind of weird to have a TV but we only have one and I know that some people have TVs in every room of the house. Not judging if you do but you, we definitely can get away with having just one or having, it's one of those things that I could definitely go without too. Okay, next to my list, and this is a little bit non-conventional, hear me out, 
and that is a debit card. I have one debit card, no credit cards. It simplifies my finances for me so much. I will never go back to credit cards or having multiple debit cards for different things. That's not to say like we don't also have a saving account that we have parceled out for different things that we're saving for and we have a budget. It's not just like a pile of money that we're like, I don't know what it's doing. Not having the hassle and just the chaos in my mind of managing and dealing with a bunch of bills and cards and thinking in the grocery store about one more thing when I don't know about you, but like grocery shopping is stressful for me. In my experience, less is more, especially when it comes to money and finances. Having it simplified where you know what you're doing and not feeling like you're keeping up with the latest trend of what you should be doing with money. Just common sense is what has made a huge difference for our finances in our household and not messing with credit cards, staying out of debt and having the one debit card. I can't recommend it enough. P.S. If you are into talking about budgeting, please let me know in the comments. I'd be really interested to know if this is a subject that you guys would be interested in me talking more about. It's something that I think about lately as like a series I could make on my channel about minimalist finances and frugal living, how, what my experience has been. So let me know in the comments below if you are into that. Oh, next on my list is my wardrobe. I have made a video before about my 10 item wardrobe. I will link it somewhere in here. Capsule wardrobing can be so confusing. If you haven't already heard of the 10 item wardrobe, you should go check out that video. I gave a whole synopsis of like what the rules are and how to build your own 10 item, war item wardrobe. I have one pair of jeans. I have one white t-shirt. You get where this is going. When I'm walking through a store and I feel really impulse to think back to my wardrobe, which is not hard to do because there's only 10 items in it, and be like, do I really want to get rid of the one? that I have and I love that because I am someone, I talked about it in this video, that gets very excited about buying new things. It's actually an area of minimalism that I really struggle with, which is like wanting things even though I don't need them. I guess you could call it contentment. Yeah, I feel like minimalism is helping me flex that muscle of telling myself no. Anybody else? Oh, back to my list. Here it is in front of me. I don't know how I almost missed this. It's a suitcase. We were thinking a lot about suitcases over the past six months as we thought about moving to Hawaii. Wow, I'm sweating so hard. And then we realized that we literally have no need. Whenever we travel, we bring one suitcase and the car seats and the stroller. And that feels like so much stuff, along with like a carry-on bag and a snack bag. How could we possibly manage more suitcases than that? Even if we travel for a month, I've made a video, we have traveled for a month and we brought one suitcase and it was totally fine. So we have one suitcase and I feel good about that. It's expensive, it takes up a ton of space. It's just a bag of things for you to put things in that you don't really need. Okay, next to my list, you can see it behind me, and that is couch. Is that like, is that a really lame thing to put on this list? Maybe this is admitting that I spend too much time on Pinterest. But lately on Pinterest, when I'm hanging out on there, I see it's like a trend to have two couches that are like facing each other. Very rarely have a situation where I'm like, I wish we had another couch. Really, really wish that right now. There is a place in here that I have. It's a soft spot for home decor. Anyway, yeah, I have no need for another couch. And the last thing on my list, I wasn't really big into planning or journaling until bullet journaling. I cannot imagine my life now without my bullet journal. It's my planner, it's my journal, it's like everything in my life goes in here. I like it so much better than my notes app on my phone or anything else that I did before. It's definitely a thing within like minimalism. I definitely want to make some videos about bullet journaling, so tell me if you're interested in bullet journaling or whatever else you want to talk about in the comments. Alright, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for supporting my work by watching it. I will see you in my next one.